So this is the Giant TCR SL2 2021 edition, which I got in January, and this is my review. So I've divided this review into two parts, the bike itself and then my experience of it. So let's get to the bike part. So the bike itself is an aero race kind of geometry, so you get maximum amount of aero gains and speed and slightly less comfort, so I'll talk about that later in my experience part of it. The frame set is made out of aluminum alloy, uh, it's branded Alex SL. The bike does come with a carbon fork and therefore reduce vibrations on the handlebar. The bike comes with internal cable routing. It has an aero seat post. I don't know if it's made out of carbon or not, but I think it's an alloy aero seat post with a D shape. Also, it does have this aero cap to remove any drag from the screw or the screw mechanism. Speaking about the seat post, you actually get a giant approach saddle with this cutout in the middle for comfort. Now, in my experience, it's okay-ish, but it still does give more comfort than a completely flat saddle. Now, let's go down to the wheels. Now, the wheels are an SR2 wheel set from Giant, which means the rims are tubeless ready and are preset to be tubeless. The tires that come with it are Giant Gavia AC2s, which are not very highly rated on Giant's website, but so far after about 8,000 kilometers, they're doing okay. Now brakes, they come with Tektra brakes. I think the model number is B177. Yeah, the brakes are fine, they're tactile, and they work good in rain and in dry weather. So, so far I'm a fan of rim brakes. The SR2 wheel set comes with these hubs that use cup and corn bearings so they're really easy to service if you are trying to service your bike yourself and you don't need any special tools. Now transmission wise you got the Shimano Tiagra 4700 group set so you got the crank set at 5034 and the cassette 1134 so you do get that one to one climbing gear if you need it. The frame size I've gone with here is a small because I'm only 172 centimeters and in this version you get the handlebars that are 400 millimeters wide with 125 millimeter short drop or shallow drop and you get a 75 millimeter of reach. Now as with most bikes it does not come with pedals. I've installed the Shimano Tiagra PDR 550s and they were great. Let's talk about the ride experience. Let's start with comfort. Now, when I first got this bike, this was my first road bike, so I was struggling with comfort because of the aggressive geometry. I switched to a 60 millimeter SEM, which was from Zip, I reckon. After riding it for a bit, I got used to the 60 mil stem and I was riding too upright, so I switched back to 90 millimeter back recently, which was the stock stem size and the comfort has been great. I can go fast, arrow, and really long. So the longest ride I've done is 360 kilometers. Let's talk about speed. This bike here is designed for speed. It's aerodynamic, it's lightweight, at only about 8.5 kilos of weight for my frame size. I have pushed this to about 75 k's an hour, which is crazy fast, down a hill. It wasn't a huge downhill, but I pushed it to the max gear and I got it to about 75 k's an hour, which is ridiculous. So let's talk about handling. This bike has a short wheelbase, which means you get slightly less okay handling at slower speeds, but at higher speeds you get really good handling. Yeah, handling has been good so far at even speeds above 60 k's an hour. Let's talk about braking. Now brakes are very touchy subjects. Some people like disc brakes, rim brakes, but in my experience the braking has been sufficient enough that I don't need to upgrade to a Shimano brake or brake pads. Now let's talk about maintenance and cleaning. Now cleaning this bike is very easy thanks to the internally routed cables. And when it comes to maintenance, you get the bearings that are cup and cone style, so you can maintain them as required. I have also waxed my chain, so it requires much less maintenance watching this video up here. Let's talk about warranty and service. Now with service, uh, I've had just good experience because I called up Giant because I didn't know the size of the bearings and all that. They were happy to help me out and also send me out parts as required. And with warranty, you do get a one year warranty on all parts and then lifetime warranty on the frame and fork. So that's pretty good. And that's it. That's my experience of this giant TCR. I hope you liked this video. Drop a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.